Hello and welcome to Virtuals. For some games, movement rates don't have to be that exact, so I'll find a great way to build good looking movement rates and very fast. So this is an easy and fast craft and can be made in bulk in one afternoon. For example, I did about 15 of these in different sizes to play Oathmark with my brother. For games that have to use the exact movement rates that the game company sells, this might not work, of course. At least in sanctioned events, but for games to be played at home, it works more than well enough. First of all, we need a CD or a DVD case. First I used the ruler to figure out the right length of the base, which in this case was 7.5 since I wanted 3 rows of figures. I started cutting the case with a knife, and don't use too much force or you will crack the CD case. I wanted even and good looking line, so I had to do about 10 slices until I could snap it in half without breaking it. So you have to be careful in this step. I had spare cases for CDRs that I don't need anymore, and you can actually even use the CDs as bases for terrain, for example. CD case has the width of about 13 cm. So, for example, Oathmark has a miniature base of 25 mm, which adds up to 12.5 cm and a few millimeters for the edge. So, I didn't see any difficulties using this in our games at least. Next, I used the same technique on the edge, since it was too high in my opinion, and used the pliers to cut half of it off. And you can use the excess material here, for example, glass shards for. Um, clue tokens or whatever, or even windows or whatever you might uh, see the use for these. I advise you to leave a little bit of the edge to the case so you can easily move the tray around when it's full of miniatures. Then I coated it with PVA glue and spread it around. And I put some very fine sand on it. The PVA glue will not stick to the case evenly, so I had to make two more coats of PVA on some areas and use some cardboard to place the sand on specific areas that were not covered on the first coat. This fine sand works well for any kind of small texture, be it ground or short grass, and it all depends on how you color it. Then I used heavily diluted blackish green to base coat the whole tray. At this point I just wanted the color to be like the ground without the grass, so brownish green would also work very well. After it was dried out I started mixing yellow and green in different shades and mixes and started painting the whole tray again. I purposely left some areas with lesser paint to make it look more like real ground, uneven and random. I speckled yellow and green around the tray once more and after that I painted the edges with greenish yellow. As for the game match here in the video, I will be making a video on it. I'll just say it works like a charm and only costs about 10 to 15 euros shipping included. Once again, it had dried out, I started dry brushing it with very light green. I also used yellow and finally white to make some highlights pop out more. And this is how it looks while in game or on the game table. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.